Happy New Year, St. John's, and anyone else looking in on our video stream today. We trust that you are with loved ones, that you're inside and warm as we begin a new year together. At St. John's Baptist Church, we find ourselves in Charlotte, North Carolina, touching people's lives. And today, we want you to worship with us in ways of spirit and truth and freedom and we trust that you will find your way into our sanctuary sometime in 2023. One thing that we are doing as a congregation through this year is we're reading through the four Gospels together. Through October, November, and December, we read through Matthew. This brochure is available to you, and you can find this also on our website if you would like to read with us, and you can listen with us to these scriptures from the Gospel of Mark through January, February, and March. Once again, Happy New Year. Welcome into a brand new year of ministry with St. John's Baptist Church. Please join me in a New Year's prayer. God of light and renewal, we do seek to be faithful to you. And may we be still enough, attentive enough, and aware enough to be able to truly adore you. Because when we stop and pay attention and let your light shine upon us, we can grow and we can be renewed. 
In the coming year, may we resolve to grow in our relationship with you. And we pray for your blessings in the coming year. We pray for your blessings more so than the blessings of our culture. May the knowledge and the experience of your light shining upon us bless us with patience, commitment, and compassion so that our lives might share patience, commitment, and compassion with others. For when we offer your gifts to others, we are truly blessed, they are truly blessed, and the world is a better place. Thank you for the coming of Christ. May he live anew in our hearts and shine forth in our living on this day and in the year to come. Amen. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 2, verses 1 through 15. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star in the east and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him, and calling together all of the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the Magi and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen in the east, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. Now after they had left, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up, take the child and his mother, and flee to Egypt, and remain there until I tell you. For Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. Then Joseph got up, took the child and his mother by night, and went to Egypt, and remained there until the death of Herod. This was to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet, Out of Egypt I have called my son. Time to remember and move on. Time to believe what love is bringing. Laying to rest the pain that's gone. Then let us with the Spirit's daring step from the past and leave behind. Our disappointment, guilt, and grieving, seeking new paths and sure to find. St. John's, this New Year's Day of 2023 is more than just another turning of the calendar. Today, we seek a significant step forward as a community of active faith. As you probably know, January is named for the Roman god Janus. Images of Janus had two faces, one looking backward and one looking forward. As one year ends and another begins, it is apropos to consider both yesterday and tomorrow. Throughout 2022, we have moved forward while reflecting on yesterday. We have been celebrating and remembering the past century. This was our centennial year. Decade by decade, we have been telling stories and looking at photos and considering people, events, commitments that shapes us still today. 
During the past century, St. John's has influenced tens of thousands of lives, and we begin 2023 with new opportunities and visions to influence thousands more. So here we go, charter members of St. John's second century. We begin our second century on this eighth day of Christmas. And we retell this story of the Magi from Persia traveling west looking for a king. They were looking for Jesus, but they did not know his name. They just followed God's light. Beloved, this still happens today. 2,000 years after the Magi, people are looking for Jesus. They may not know his name or exactly how to find him. And this, this is where we begin our second century. Like the wise magi, we will follow God's light, focusing on God's gift to us in Jesus Christ. And as we follow God's light, I look forward to leading you and this outstanding church staff into this new year. We will continue to be a servant church impacting our city and world. We will provide hospitality and strengthen relationships through small groups. We will increase our outreach to potential members and follow up on every guest. We will pursue spiritual growth so our lives become more integrated. We will assimilate people into the life of St. John's and provide pathways of service for them. We will initiate new connections with young adults. We will build a community alongside them. We will persist in advancing our ministries with children and youth and their families. We will expand our efforts in congregational care ministries. We will improve our use of media and messaging to share God's good news in Charlotte. And we will increase our witness, including our expressions of worship and stewardship. While beginning this journey, we will start next Sunday by baptizing several young people as new disciples of Jesus Christ. I remind you of these words written by Howard Thurman in his litany, Now the Work of Christmas Begins. When the song of the angels is stilled and when the star in the sky is gone, when the kings and princes are home, when the shepherds are back with their flocks, the work of Christmas begins to find the lost, to heal the broken, to feed the hungry, to release the prisoner, to rebuild the nations, to bring peace among the people, to make music in the heart. St. John's this New Year's Day of 2023 is more than just another turning of the calendar. Today, we take a significant step forward as a community of active faith. May it be so. Oh, go tell it all. 